Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn to substitute a feldspar for nepheline cyanide. We'll discuss the two materials and the issues surrounding substitution with complex materials, KNAO versus K2O NA2O's evaluation, substitution rules versus in-recipe substitution calculation, non-chemistry reasons for glaze differences, and flow testing. Feldspars and nepheline cyanide are similar from a chemistry point of view, and it's common to substitute one for another on a one-to-one -one weight basis. Is that a good idea? Let's see. Let's start with 100 parts of F4 feldspar in recipe 1, line 1, and 100 of nepheline in recipe 2, line 2, and RO unity. Notice how much difference these two feldspars are with respect to the amounts of SiO2 and even KNaO. I have the KNaO checkbox checked to combine K2O and Na2 amounts. Using feldspar, I need to be content to match the total of the two. I'm going to set both recipes to no unity calculation. That way I can build a duplicate that will not need to be retotaled. I also have the Lessons Materials database selected as with other lessons, and I'm going to set three decimals accuracy since I'm dealing with smaller than normal formula numbers. I've started by matching the KNAO. I could not use the Supply button because it is a combination of two oxides. So to match, I clicked the KNAO line to be able to keep an eye on it, and then selected the nepheline cyanide line and made sure recipe 2 was selected. Then I clicked the decrement button until the KNAO numbers matched. They matched at 72.5 parts of nepheline. Notice as I got closer, I changed the increment button by 0.5. I did that quickly by holding down the control key while clicking the down arrow to cut the amount in the by blank by half. The CAO is a lot easier. I'm going to source it from Wollastonite because I need both SiO2 and CAO, and it supplies both. I need 0 0.03 of CAO. I click the next blank line, entered part of the word Wollastonite, and press the Enter key. Inside looked it up and filled in the whole name for me. Now I'll click the Supply button. The supply dialog appeared and I've clicked the CAO button. It knows I need the point zero 0.03 by looking at the formula of the other recipe. I'll click Done. Now here's the recipe and the CAO and KNAO match. Now I just need to match up the AL203 and SiO2. I'll do this by using the same method to supply AL203 from kaolin and SiO2 from silica. Here is the result. A matched formula and a recipe whose total is so close to 100 I do not need to bother retotaling it. When you look at the combination of materials needed to match the chemistry of nepheline cyanide, it becomes evident how different this feldspar and nepheline cyanide are, and why people who simply do a one-to-one -one weight substitute often run into problems. While I can now specify a simple F4 to nepheline substitution rule, it is impractical to do so for the other direction. Notice I've matched the KNAO for 100 parts nepheline. That requires 138 F4. But this oversupplies alumina and really oversupplies silica. However, like the last lesson of substituting calcium carbonate for wollastonite, you could formulate a complex rule that involves removing wollastonite kaolin and silica from the target recipe, but it is possible that one of these will not be present. In situations like this, it is actually much easier to put the recipes side by side with one having the old feldspar and the other the substitute, then juggle the new recipe to match up the KNAO and then the other oxides. When you do it this way, there are more options and you can think about improving other aspects of the recipe at the same time. How different are feldspars? For interest's sake, these melt flow tests compare four different feldspars. 
it's pretty evident that they have different melting properties, especially these two. These differences can be accounted for partly by their chemistry, but not only that. Ceramic chemistry is a relative science, and it is one piece in the glaze puzzle. You cannot ignore mineralogy and physical factors like particle size, for example. These two glazes have the same calculated chemistry, but they do not melt the same, they don't have the same gloss, and one has many more entrained bubbles. However, they employ different feldspars to source sodium and potassium. That's the end of this lesson.